Hey guys, good evening, good evening. I wanted to just pop in because I am ironing linens. Uh, my name is Tracy, and my son's getting married this weekend. And um, I waited till the week of the wedding to iron the linens, thinking it was gonna be no big deal. Oh, hey, Brian, I still got a few more to do. So I was gonna come on here and, and, and let them know some of the uh, things I have learned while ironing your linens. So um, what I ended up doing, I ended up pulling a couple six-foot tables, and since they were in the garage, I were covered with paint, but I didn't want the heat from the steam iron uh, to come through on the linen, so I covered it. Look at this real quick. Let me take this off. Let me flip this around. I covered a couple tables, and that's actually heavy-duty wrapping paper. That's just what I had left, because my house is, is like empty. So uh, I covered that so I couldn't get any of the paint actually on the fabric. And I'm able to lay it all the way across, across there, and then across there. And then by doing that, I keep it folded in half. So I'm gonna open this up. And I, I see a lot of times people just open these up and throw these suckers on the uh, table. Don't do that. They're a hot mess. And I'm gonna show you what they look like. And we'll flip this back around. about 15 minutes, sometimes 20 minutes um, to iron, because you have to iron both sides. And sometimes when they're so big, um, and you don't want them dragging the floor. So if you have a big dining room table, something like that, you can use that as your base table and then have your iron board. So I'm leaving this folded in half. Let me get to where it's, this is one of the round ones. It's gonna go on the 60 inch table. This is the one that goes to the floor. So I think, I think it's the 120 inches, I'm not sure. So when I open it, all the way. Now I'm starting in with the folds. Keep it folded in half. And it's better, it's a two person job, but my mom's not here right now. So. It's a lot easier with two people. So after you get it all, just kind of pulled out like that. I keep it together, fold it in half because the, the steam, because I use a steam iron. I've got a really great steam iron and it has been incredible. It'll not only start um, ironing out this, it'll also start doing it on the opposite side as well. And so with these linens are so big, I don't want them driving the floor. I'm gonna pull it across to the first half, spin it around, do the other half, keeping it on the table, then turn it upside down and do the same thing. That's why it takes about 15 minutes or so to do every single linen. I've spent over 10 hours ironing this week. Do not wait till the week of the wedding to do that because you've got other things you want to do with your time and that's not ironing linens. And then after you iron them, you hang them up. You hang them up like this. And I've labeled, I started labeling them too, especially if you've got different size tables. So I'm labeling them. And that's for our round guest tables. And then these others I've labeled. That goes on a four foot table and a four foot table short. And then whenever you want to pack it all up to go, use these. And you can hold up to five in there. Just pull them off the hanger, lay them flat. And I put five. I wouldn't put much more than that because you want to keep it from trying to wrinkle so much. So definitely keep them all hanging until you pack them up to go to try and keep from so many wrinkles in it and don't show them in one big giant tote with all of them because they're going to get wrinkled and this is the, the steam iron that i'm using right there it is fabulous i tried a regular hand steamer and it sucked it didn't work so 
I have a few more to do uh, before I go to bed, but again, I keep it folded in half. Actually, I'll just do one real quick. I need to put some more water um, in my iron, I'll, and I'll do one real quick. And So I'm going to show you the crease because with it folded in half, it has, don't forget about this crease that's going to be right where it's folded in half. Don't forget to pull it over a little bit and do that as well. So just start at the corner of your round linen. And that heat's going to go all the way through to both sides so that when you flip it over, you won't need that much. Just be prepared with how long this takes. Brian, are you still on here? Or is that Miss Rosemary? Well, if it is Brian. Did you get my text about Sean? And if it is Rosemary, when is your wedding? Okay, we have to put our up. You're right, the steamer doesn't work at all. Yes. I did, I tried the steamer first. I wanted to test it and I'm so glad I didn't wait. Cause I was planning on doing these up in Oklahoma when I go up Wednesday and the wedding's on Saturday. I'm so glad I didn't. I didn't realize how long this was gonna take. That, right there. 
It is a Euro Team Next Generation 1000 is what it is. And we got it at an auction. My husband loves online auctions. So we got this cheap, but this is like an expensive iron. So you make sure you pull this roller's edge so you can get that crease right out the middle. And I usually have to fill this up again. Yes, forever. I've been doing this 10 hours already over the course of three days. But this gets it out really, really quick. So if you get into a rhythm of it, and you know, you might get it down to 10 minutes. Unless you're freakishly faster than me. And kudos to you. Oh my gosh. I know we had to turn down the AC yesterday when my mom was here. mark and then we're going to spin it around and start from the opposite side. I'm trying to keep it off of the floor. Oh, this is a bad linen. This is also why you get extra linen. You probably won't be able to see it, but this is like fabric is stretched, so I'll probably go ahead and do an extra one. That's why I always order extra because some will come up with some jacked up fabric or a stain or something on it. This is yeah, halfway has been the best because I was worried about just getting it on the floor.
did your wedding go, Michelle? So what advice would you give some DIY brides? Or any bride, for that matter. I know my daughter-in-law was the first one that popped in here, or my future daughter-in-law just popped in here for the first one. And I just told her it may not go exactly as planned, you just gotta breathe and let it go. And it's okay. a little bit farther and then we'll flip it to the other side. Okay, so now I'm gonna, let's see, I hated nearly every vendor. Oh. nearly every vendor. They were mostly terrible. I'm really disappointed in how everything looked at the reception, but I have no one to blame. Added and the kids. Uh, no one to blame and the kids for that. Oh, yeah. They were the ones that set everything up. I was at home ironing tablecloths. <laughs> See, you're the reason why I'm like, don't do it the week of the wedding and you were doing it. Oh my gosh. Exactly. <laughs> Well, this iron comes with this little funnel, but I'm gonna turn it off real quick. But I'm gonna show you when this happened, it kind of freaked me out the first time it happened. Because I wasn't expecting it to start spitting at me because I didn't wait till it cooled down because I just wanted to get more and more done. And I have a towel handy for the floor. But I'm like impatient, so I just unplugged it. Just do it barely, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let it, it's still hot. And I'm impatient. I want to get it done. Now I do have a um, power strip down here and I just turned it off before I just, you know, put more water in here. Let's see. My advice, let's see. Save your money to have a day coordinator. I should have asked for you and allow for three. Oh, for three. The time you think you need and everything. Iron tablecloth a day starting six months prior. Oh, I know. Well, see, I even have my cousin that was supposed to be the day of coordinator because that's one of the things I want to do with the wedding is not stress out. And then she calls me yesterday and says, Tracy, I'm like, what? That didn't even sound good when she, you know, the way she answered the phone. And uh, she says, I can still do it. And, uh, but her son um, is in Kiwi football and they have their championship game at 4.30. The wedding starts at 5. I'm thinking, hmm. But, 
If it wasn't for the venue gracious enough to give us Friday to set up, we're gonna have everything set up on Friday. So I'm like, no big deal. I'll have my sister, you know, jump in as coordinator so I could still be mom uh, the day of the wedding and it, and it was no issue. But absolutely, a day of coordinator just makes it stress-free. Absolutely. Let them take care of the bumps along the way, the chaos, fixing something that just needs fixed, you know, giving someone a job, go for this, go for that, do the, whatever needs to be done. You know, absolutely, it's worth, you need a, a day of coordinator. Absolutely. So, um, but we were just lucky that uh, for us, my sister was able to jump in and uh, we were able to set up on Friday. I mean, we're literally gonna have 90% of everything done you know, on Friday. So I'm, I'm so happy. So, okay, I'm gonna turn this back, make sure this goes all the way. Turn this back on. Because it takes two of this to get this done. Now I'm gonna clean up my mess on the floor. I think a lot of times brides, you know, um, underestimate um, the day of coordinator. You know, you want to be able to enjoy the day and not have to worry about someone not showing up or not being there on time, having someone that takes care of calling them, where are you at, delegating some things. You know, there was one time I was a coordinator and all the guys were out there smoking. You know, if they didn't have a coordinator, you know, who's going to go out there and necessarily say, guys, you know, drop it, let's go. You know, they're going to be late starting so um you just kind of need that person and you can have a family member do it if they have the tools and what to do and how to handle certain situations and so and that's one of the things that i'm looking at possibly creating is um a dev coordinator like crash course just for someone who wants a family member to possibly do it so um let's see it would have been okay if the venue hadn't lied to me oh they said that we could have all the day prior to set up and then we found out the week of that we only had from 2 to 5 on Friday. Oh, you should have called me. I, I would have run up there and helped you. Dad, um, hope that didn't happen to us. Then I'll go from nice to oh my god. But that's why I had everything super organized. That's why I'm going up on Wednesday. Oh, let me tell you this. Hold on, I gotta turn this off. I order my flowers from the wholesaler and I get a call two days ago? No, Sunday night. Sunday night, I got a call from my wholesaler and they are um, going, um, they're in the middle of bankruptcy court and they were not gonna fulfill my flowers. And, uh, and I'm freaking out going, that was the only company I knew in Oklahoma that also had, was here in Dallas. They had a sister location in Oklahoma. So I'm freaking out calling another wholesaler that I happen to have a cell phone number for, a rep for a different company. And, um, and I'm sitting there thinking, all of these local floors, we're all gonna be bombarding them. You know, I've gotta make sure it gets in. And I'm sitting here thinking, it's like eight o'clock at night when I'm texting my rep. And I'm thinking, wait, I didn't get a call until like an hour ago. Am I like on the bottom of the list to call? And all these other people may have gotten in before me. And so, uh, but I got it in. Now what I'm having to do, which I will video and I'll, I'll pop in and show you guys this. I'm running a U-Haul trailer and praying God will just let it stay a little bit cooler. Um, all the flowers are going to be in water, in buckets, in an enclosed trailer, and I'm taking them to Oklahoma. So, we'll see how that works. It was supposed to be high 60s here and low 50s there, and now this is bumped up a little bit warmer. So I'm going to have to put ice in the water as we travel um, up there, but get them up there as soon as possible and, uh, yeah, and process them and all that good stuff. So this will be interesting, this week, but at least they told me. They could have not told me, and I would have been waiting at my son's house for flowers um, on Thursday and have nothing. So I was very fortunate in that. So things happen. That's why whenever I go up there, I told them, I said, I need all of your decor. It's going to make sure, because I have some stuff here and they have some stuff there. I said, you want everything in your memory table in one box, including candle, picture, sign, everything. And then what I did for the linens, 
uh, the linen napkins, I already ironed them and uh, folded them and folded them while they were ironed and then separated them, um, ate to a um, gallon baggie, and then so they could just grab a bag to place them all on the table. So basically, I created an assembly. That's what you want to do with all the decor is make it so easy, so stupid, uh, that it, the setup is easy. Let me show you my setup, my setup list just real quick. Whenever I uh, get organized for setups, and so if there's a bride that is looking to DIY, but they should help getting organized, this is what I can do uh, for you. I create all of these detailed setup lists, and that's for every single section. If I don't have a photograph, I'll do a picture. But some, I've done mock ones, and so I've already done what, exactly what it's supposed to look like. And so that helps even if I couldn't be there, they know exactly how it's supposed to look, exactly how it's supposed to be set up, and then have a checklist of everything that's gonna be on the table, check it off the list, and when the whole table's done, they check that off. It says, I did our daughter's flowers. It took a while. Actually, oh, yeah, flowers are fun. Iron the napkins too. So much easier than to, abs I got through those. Yes, I got through those linen napkins quick. It says, tablecloths were my hand, <laughs> my own fault. I knew better to wait. That's why I'm glad I didn't wait until we got to Oklahoma because I, I, I would have been a mess. I would have probably gotten mad and just sent to the cleaners and wasted money on having them iron them because I had too much other stuff to do. So, yes, don't wait. Exactly. I like the six month ahead of time idea. Okay, now I gotta let my, my iron heat back up again. Are you kidding? Okay, they hear you, but do they listen to you? Right? I mean, that's like I get on my husband all the time. I'm like, you're not listening. <laughs> or what did you just say? I had my husband help me set up a, a wedding. I was, this has been a couple years now. And uh, I had him in charge. I, I told him exactly what I wanted him to do. And this was like a dessert bar setup. And literally, two seconds after I told him, he was too busy thinking of something stupid to tell me or something to say to get on my nerves. And it totally didn't even hear what I said. And I started to get angry at him. Because he just wasn't listening to me. This was your time to be funny. And so when you do the second side, it doesn't take quite as long just because of the heat going through.
think Bree's not on here. It's just you, Michelle. One thing I'm having done, two of my other boys are in the Army. Well, they're not able to come. So I'm going to have them call when Tanner is getting dressed. Where the photographers are there, where my husband's there, and then I'm doing a first look with him as well. And so I'm gonna have one call when my husband's with him, and one call when I'm with him. But so the photographers and videographers can uh, take a picture of him talking to his brothers, you know, um, since they can't be there. So, um, what are we and my son is a crier. He's gonna cry a lot. He was joking when he was over here um, this weekend, saying he's going to have to cut his bowels down because he's not going to make it through them at all. So when you need two people Yeah Now I just gotta get in the time As long as the photographer sticks to the time This and all of this. It's not folded anymore. I need to flip it. Too much, I lost some steam.
gonna work. Okay. Now that I no longer have it folded right. I'm gonna fold in this sucker. Make sure it's folded directly in half. And then you want to take each one of these corners and match them up together. I'm just following this all the following this all the way around to make sure I get to the other side. That way we get to it. This is where you need a second person too, because you can almost not do it. I think so. Once you get these two corners together. Yes, I can barely <laughs> Get all this straightened out. There's not a little wrinkle. You pull it really straight. I'm folding it one more time. Just because this is a little bit wider than the stupid thing. There we go. And bam. There we go. And so I'm going to get off because I seem to take longer getting these done talking to somebody. So thanks for joining me, Michelle, and uh, keeping me um, having conversations with me while I'm ironing by myself um, in the silence with my dog. Staring at me, wondering why I won't pet her. So, but uh, anyways, I will uh, check in a little bit later um, throughout the week and how we're doing, especially when I get the flowers in the trailer. I'll show you that with you guys. So, bye. Have a good night.